beginning of creating ataraxia, at first I came to the idea of searching the meaning of traditional signs and symbols, those which come from ancient culture including as we might recognize in Greek, Celtic, Mayan, Indus Valley, Slavic, Japanese, Chinese, and including Indonesian cultures. Most of the signs and symbols offer wisdom and way of life uh, to human beings. I was not really sure where these signs bring me to, but I, I realized that they actually at the end brought me to return to our understanding of life's reality. And then I was seeking for the meaning of place and territory where we live. I am always interested to understand more about how do we find ourselves at home. I remember about the concept of placement in relationship with the architecture of palaces in Java since the 8th centuries to early 18th centuries. I found something interesting about the several architecture concepts of the palaces, especially the Demak, Pajang, and New Mataram. I came to question about the place of women which I cannot find in the map of the palaces. Other thing that intrigued me was the ancient symbol as from I Ching which provides a lot of possibilities in reading situation. I like the concept of lines and when I combine with the concept of the points of compass from the Javanese palaces, there are some reasons to relate human position, palace, place and power. I was questioning how women according to the history of Javanese architecture are placed. Actually, yes. How did women relate with the concept of power? Ataraxia is an object installation which I created actually based on the investigation on the predomination of the ruling structures. Did they re rarely consider the position of female present in their placement of spaces within the architectural concept? I remember the idea of Epicurean ethics which says that the highest goal of human existence is serene pleasure. The idea refers above all to the health of the body and calmness of the soul, but both are threatened by the fear of the gods and death, the excess of desires and physical pain. A wise man has to free himself from external as well, in, as, well as internal influences that threaten his peace of mind or ataraxia, or tranquilitas animi, from desire, lust, grief, and fear, and thus achieve internal self-sufficiency. The black cloth that is placed in juxtaposition with the colorful lace is a kind of a statement which reflects the state of ataraxia. The black cloth represents the settled privileged borders which bound the freedom of the female members of the society that at the same time reflecting resistance.